Good morning. This is part two of creating a control rig in a real engine. So in the first video, we created a armature and then exported it as an FBX. In this video, we'll have a look at how to create a control rig and how to set up some basic controllers and then do some animating. So here we are in Unreal. Uh, this is a scene I made for a Need for Speed uh, video project, which I'll link down below if you want to have a look at it. Um, so all you need is a sequence, which I've uh, created here. You can uh, see that I've already animated some cars in it, but uh, that's not necessary. So yeah, like I said, all you need is a sequence. And if you don't have one, just uh, right click in the content browser and go to animation and then level sequence. This is where we'll do the animating. So from the file explorer, just drag and drop your uh, skeletal mesh into Unreal. And as you can see, uh, Unreal identifies the skeletal mesh. Uh, and uh, I don't think you have to change anything here actually. Um, in, uh, in my case, I'm not going to bother with uh, textures for today, but uh, if your model has textures, which probably does, then of course, uh, you know, import the textures as usual. Uh, this is, isn't really a tutorial for textures, so we'll just skip that part. There we go. So if the import is successful, you should have three different items here a skeletal mesh, a phys uh, physics assets, and a uh, skeleton. You can drag it into your scene and have a look at it. So what you want to do is right click and create a control rig. And then double press to uh, go into the uh, blueprint of the control rig. And here is where the magic will happen. So here you can have a look at uh, the car or the um, model. So first things first, hit the root bone and then press Ctrl N for new. That will make a new controller. Do this for all of the bones. Uh, so now we should have a, a bone and then a controller for the bone. And these are what we'll be using in the script here. So drag and drop the root bone and then press set bone and then uh, connect the execute pins and for the transform we'll be needing the uh, root controller so drag and drop it into the script and press get control then hook up the transform just like this very simple the rest of the process isn't uh, that much harder so repeat, set bone for the body, and then connect the execute pins, and then drag and drop the body control, get control, connect the transforms, and compile and save. And already, uh, just by these two nodes, you should be able to uh, try the controllers out. So if you select the body control, you should be able to move the mesh and if this is failing, then one of your previous steps probably hasn't worked out uh, the way it should. So go back and uh, try again. So now we'll continue the process of uh, get control for the front right. And then the front right set bone. And hook up the transforms. And uh, between here we'll actually add uh, two uh, different nodes. So we'll do that in just a bit. And then uh, continue downwards with the uh, front left uh, set bone. Uh, connect the execute pins. And then get control. And then just repeat. So the uh, right left uh, control and then the right 
Sorry, the rear left. And then set transform for the rear right and connect the transforms. And there we go. So if you hook up the all of the execute pins, you should also now be able to select a wheel and rotate it. And if you zoom in here, you will see that we will have some issues uh, when trying to rotate it uh, on a different axis. And this is what we'll fix now. Uh, and also set up a handy controller so you can control the front wheels uh, separate from the rear wheels. So you will be able to turn the wheels simultaneously. So now we'll be creating two new controllers. You can press the root control and hit control N for new controller. And we'll create two new different controllers. And double press to rename. And change the first one to front wheels underscore control and the second one to rear wheels control. We need some new space so we'll just move these nodes a bit further down so we have some more room to work with and temporarily disconnect the execute pins. Right click and then search for set transform array. With this node you can hook up uh, several uh, controllers or bones into one node and the order of these nodes are very important so make sure that you uh, connect everything in the same way I do in this video. Then you want to toggle down and press two new items and two new transforms. And for the type choose controller or control and the name the front left control and the other one front right control. This will define uh, what types of controls we are uh, manipulating with this node. Then change from global space to local space. This is very important otherwise the whole rig will uh, look off and then uh, get the controller for the front wheels, hook up the transforms, the first one and then the second one. And as, uh, as the previous one, very important that you change from global space to local space. Just these two nodes though, so all of the other nodes are global space, but these ones have to be local space. And then you can just duplicate it so you don't have to do it all again. Just change the names to the rear left and the rear right. And then you want to change to the rear wheels control. Then hook up the execution pins. Uh, so now we will have a fully functional rig where you can select the front wheels controller and then turn the wheels. So this is great news. However, uh, we will not be needing all of the uh, bones and controllers in the actual control rig uh, because that will just clutter the uh, um, sequencer. So select all of the controllers. Then go over to animatable and uncheck the true to false. And this will hide them from the sequencer. Perfect. Uh, the last step is to select the controllers and then change the control type to rotator because we only want to rotate the wheels, not move them. That would be weird. Then hit compile and then save. And there we have it. Now we have successfully created a control rig. So you can drag and drop the control rig into your world, go into the sequence and then hit the uh, clear on this and it will reveal all of the uh, actors and uh, stuff you have in the sequence. So if you toggle down uh, your control rig, you will now see that you have control of the over the body, the front wheels and the rear wheels. And you also have the normal transform, so you can uh, animate the transform. So if you just 
can start a keyframe here and then go forward in time and move the car. We will have a new keyframe here. So you can see that the car is moving. Nothing spectacular. So here's a uh, quick tip. If you uh, go into your mesh and then search for decals, you can uncheck the receive decals in case you have like decals on the road or floor and whatever. That's a small handy tip for you. And we'll continue animating the car. So we'll go forward in time again and then toggle down the front wheels and the rear wheels control. And in order to make the wheel spin, it's the Y axis that makes them go forward or backwards. So change the value to something like minus thousand perhaps. Yeah, nice. So now we have a bone that controls the body. Then we have a bone that controls the root movement of our control rig. So you can move the body separate. And by doing that, you can kind of like fake suspension. So we'll be able to create more dynamic uh, animations with the car accelerating and decelerating and turning with the G-forces and stuff. I think it's the uh, rotation pitch that changes uh, forwards and backwards. So you can like insert a keyframe here, go forwards in time, change it ever so slightly to make it look like the suspension is tilting. Then go forwards once again and then tilt it forwards and then backwards making like a small bounce. Yeah, very nice. Perfect. And then of course we can change the Z rotation of the front wheels to turn the wheels and do like and do like a uh, turning animation of the car as well. So insert a keyframe, zero degrees. And this is a tutorial for creating a control rig, so I won't really go over how to animate uh, the car itself, because that would be a whole different tutorial. But uh, here you can slightly see how I animated it. And there we have it. So now you hopefully know how to create a control rig in Unreal and uh, how to set up some basic controllers and then animate them in the sequencer. And uh, I would love to see your creations with this. So if you create a cool animation with a car, please let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye.